Welcome. If you're looking for therapy over Skype, please go to my website and learn more about this online therapy service that I provide uh, over Skype. So I'm often asked, is uh, uh, therapy over Skype as good as psychotherapy in person? And the answer is, in the vast majority of cases, yes. And it can, can even be uh, better for many people who may be struggling with anxiety or depression or addiction. Um, it's often very difficult to uh, talk about these uh, kind of emotional problems in, in, in a public setting. People like the greater uh, privacy offered by uh, therapy over Skype. Uh, and online therapy in general, um, it's much more comfortable, it's easier to to work on difficult feelings. The uh, style of psychotherapy that I offer over Skype is called mindfulness therapy, which is a particular way of working with the mind. Uh, mindfulness is a, a form of consciousness that we develop. We develop conscious awareness to try and break out of these habits that create our anxiety and depression. So anxiety and depression are basically emotional, psychological habits. Uh, they become conditioned and they operate uh, unconsciously like any other habit. Um, we become a victim of these habits and they can cause a great deal of suffering. So in mindfulness therapy, the first thing we do is make these habits conscious. We actually uh, look very closely at our psychological habits, whether that's emotional reactivity or cognitive reactivity or behavioral reactivity in the case of an addiction. We look at the actual process that's going on in the mind that creates these emotional states. Um, we look at the patterns of reactive thinking that uh, support and feed uh, anxiety and depression. We don't just blindly uh, accept uh, reactive thinking or emotional reactivity. Instead, we examine it and we look closely at what's actually going on. When you take this kind of uh, approach of inquiry, of actually exploring how your mind is creating anxiety or depression, uh, then you can begin to change those underlying habits. So habits thrive on the absence of consciousness, uh, but they are very vulnerable to developing conscious awareness. And when you illuminate habits with consciousness, you're able to change them, and often quite easily and quite quickly. Uh, so the first training is developing more consciousness around your anxiety or depression. And the primary method we use to do this is called mindfulness meditation. And this means meditating on the mind. It means meditating on those thoughts and emotions or traumatic memories or uh, beliefs or whatever it might be that's causing suffering. We uh, deliberately choose to meditate on these to, dis uh, to explore their structure and then start to break free from that blind habit of uh, identification with these um, habitual thoughts, beliefs and reactions. All you have to do really is uh, become aware of them. When you become the observer, that process actually frees you from those habits. Uh, the habits are reduced to an object that you can observe, but you become the observer instead of becoming lost in the, uh, the thoughts and the emotional habits. So that's a very important part of mindfulness training. 
uh, when you develop uh, a relationship with your mind, with the contents of mind, in which you are not identified and not run by habitual reactivity, then you can help uh, the anxiety or depression uh, heal. And that's the second major theme in mindfulness therapy. The emphasis is on helping the mind heal. It's about helping anxiety heal so that you no longer feel anxiety or panic attacks. It's about helping depression heal so that you no longer feel that uh, f terrible state of um, exhaustion or helplessness or feeling as like a victim. Um, it's about helping grief heal if you're experiencing grief. Uh, and very uh, importantly, it's about helping you recover from emotional trauma. So we all uh, accumulate different levels of emotional trauma in our life. Uh, and a lot of this trauma does not resolve, does not heal properly. And it becomes a source of anxiety and depression and, and then behaviors like addictions, uh, which are ways of trying to cope with that uh, internal suffering. So healing is a primary focus. How do we heal uh, emotional suffering? Well, the first most important thing, of course, is to not continue to blindly feed that emotional suffering. Uh, by in, indulging in those blind habits. So changing the relationship to being one of the observer is like really becoming a parent to uh, a child. Here you're becoming a parent to your emotions. You cannot heal emotional suffering if you simply react with more emotional suffering. So you have to become like a parent to your own em emotions. You have to learn to embrace them and develop a conscious and caring relationship with those emotions if you want them to heal. Trying to get rid of them, trying to talk your way out of feeling anxiety or depression is not effective. You have to work at the level of the emotion itself and the most important thing that uh, emotions need for healing is your conscious presence. Being able to stay with those emotions uh, without reacting. So if you'd like to learn more about this mindfulness-based approach for healing um, and uh, overcoming habitual emotional reactivity, or trauma, then please go to my website and email me. Therapy over Skype is a, a wonderfully uh, effective and uh, as well as also very convenient way of learning these very powerful mindfulness techniques that I will teach you uh, in great detail. So you'll get lots of guidance from me and when you start applying mindfulness uh, to work with your emotions, you will start to see results in a very short time. This is a very practical and a very focused approach, very different than conventional counseling. People typically see results within three or four weeks. Uh, it doesn't take that long. Once you start to understand how to apply mindfulness, then you will soon see the benefits uh, from mindfulness therapy. Um, so if you'd like to get started with me and schedule some online therapy sessions with me over Skype, then simply email me and uh, let's uh, schedule a trial session so you can see for yourself just how effective 
uh, the mindfulness approach can be. Thank you.